Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody is well. Um, this is a quick message. So, I have been on track to bettering myself as a person and my focus right now is being financially free, having financial freedom, living abundantly, abundantly as possible. So, I encourage people, if you're interested, to perhaps think about investing. So right now, I'm just learning the basics about investing. I'm learning about stocks. I'm learning about income stocks. I'm learning about uh, mutual stocks. I'm learning about dividends, compounding. I'm learning about um, shareholding. Um, what else? Just uh, 403Bs, raw 403B. You know, I'm learning just about investing and um and be, becoming an investor because I want to be able, like I said, to live abundantly and I want my money to be growing and working for me even when I'm not necessarily paying attention to it every second of the day. Now I know with stocks you have to watch them and things like that, but basically I'm just learning about building my wealth, building my money and living abundantly. I have a book that I'm reading called girl let me see one second y'all let me get this book oh i'm taking notes and everything because i have a notebook um girl make your money grow okay this is an older book but i got it from the library it's um a sister's guide to protecting your future and enriching your life this is um teaching you all types of things about financial stability growth and like I said, the first thing they wanted me to do was to get a notebook. And I, on my first page, I wrote, we had to write a page about living abundantly and what living abundantly means to me. And then I take notes because I'm an avid note taker. Excuse me, y'all. I, I need to put on a shirt. Like, y'all need to be seeing all of that. Um, but um, I learned how to analyze my salary, which is very easy. All you're doing is basically multiplying your wage times how many hours times how many weeks you're working you can do that wage times um months or years things like that um like i said i'm learning about the catch-up provision i'm not older for that yet but i know that um it's good for people who are older if they are late investors if they're even thinking about investing the catch-up provision which basically allows you to contribute more than the average amount to um yeah like a 401k or 403b or scps any retirement plans um or um being able to add 500 dollars additionally to your iras now i'm not sure if these things are still up to date and actively you can do them but yeah i'm just learning about um investing and again becoming financially free because you don't want to be living paycheck to paycheck out here um especially as african americans we need to think about growing our money and not just making money spending it you know you, you need to be comfortable and i'm also teaching myself about being a homeowner um it's not that hard to be a homeowner i mean I live in Boston, so it's hella expensive, but even if I don't choose to live here or whatever, I'm basically setting myself up. I'm 41, so I, I'm trying to teach my kids who are 20 and 21 these things about investing or just learning about how to, how to deal with their monies better and the steps that I need to take to become a homeowner. Everything that I learn, I teach them, so maybe it can benefit them in some way in their life. And maybe this video will help somebody to think about their future. I don't know how long I have to live here on this earth, but if I live here for a very, very long time, I want to be as financially sound as possible. And again, I'm late to the game, but better late than never. So think about your money. Think about growing in every area of your life. I mean, I have to forgive myself for the things I've done younger in terms of not being as savvy and not as focused in, in certain areas in my life that I wish I was more now. But it's okay because once you know better, you do better, right? Okay. All right. Peace. Take this message well. Bye.